Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave and today I'm back down at UHI in their Sydney headquarters. They've just moved to Warwick Farm from their old address and they've got lots of stock we'll have a look at uh, in here in a minute. But at the first thing I want to do is focus on this new model of the UME 12 and this is called a UME 12P. And the big change to this machine from the previous models are the silent pilot, pilot controls here next to the armrests. So normally, um, or previously, these were down on the binnacle at the front here, but now they've moved those up just in front of the armrest here. So that's certainly a big change for these. These were um, normally only seen on the, the bigger equipment, but they're now rolling these out into the lower models as well so that's the UME 12P um, it's a little bit different styling wise is a little bit different the cowling and everything here is different and the um, rollover protection or the sunshade bar here um, comes up from the back and before it used to come right round in a hoop and then come down and go into the floor here and you had to sort of step around it or your feet always hit it this sort of now um, only on the back means you've got all this area here at the at the front here for your feet so you can actually access it basically from both sides. Over here is your um, lockout here on your controls. Different sort of floor so it's a full plastic type floor now whereas the other models just had the mat which people used to take off straight away and um, and do it. Uh, this model has the expandable tracks which was also on the previous model. My model didn't have the uh, expandable tracks. Um, again adjustable width on the front dozer blade depending on how wide the tracks are. Bit more protection on this ram here for the blade um, with these extra plates that are put on there now. Um, slightly different configuration and the mounting at the back here is slightly different from what I can remember it as well. The rest of that looks a little bit um, familiar. That all looks much the same up the front. Um, the front valve body is much the same as what it was before. The model comes with the thumb, mechanical thumb, with uh, a couple of options for different positions for this. I guess you could actually modify it to some degree and put in a ram here if you wanted to make a hydraulic thumb out of it. Um, the quick attach is basically on there the same. It comes with the same nine attachments as they've had on previous models. Um, safe working limit of the arm is the same, rated at 120 kilos, which is uh, basically 10% of the operating weight. What else can we spy here? Um, hydraulic fluid window. It's actually now in the right spot and there's a nice neat cutout around there. That all looks quite good. Um, seat looks much the same. Um, certainly I think when you're operating it you have more um, viewing sort of out. It's much clearer with that front um, supports for the roof now gone. So I think this probably is really just an assist to get on it. So you sort of grab that with your handle and, and hop on. So that's all good. But the really nice feature I like about this is all of this um, cowling and blade, uh, base platform for here basically comes forward now. So you can basically pull that forward. I just need my hand back again. I think and then this door on this back panel actually comes out and swings open. I mean that's worth the price of admission by itself isn't it? So that's um, all that access in there. This engine is the Kubota, it's the D902, 16 horsepower so it's a little bit more powerful than previously in the 1.2s. They had the 14 horsepower Yanmars initially and then the 14 horsepower Kubotas. This D902 engine is quite interesting that if you buy a, uh, a 1.2 machine, a 1.5 machine and a 2 ton machine 
they all have exactly the same engine in it which is the Kubota D902 it's easier to get in the back now um, for all the service items there's a filter there uh, radiator level so certainly in accessibility it's a lot faster and easier to get into than my older model where you had to get in from the front it's great with these panels that flip up um, you can get into this air box is a lot easier now the filler for the hydraulic um, top up is there so that's easy to get to as well so that's all nice and the fact that this door actually opens now on a hinge I like that closes Let's see if I can put the seat back a bit again there we are so that's the new model of the UHI UME 12P P for progress P for pilot controls I don't know I'll ask Alex what P means but a nice looking machine the price has gone up a little bit um, you do pay a bit of a premium for these um, side controls it's got an information window now down on the side here which is what battery level um, temperature and then a display here as well so all that's built in there they've got black controls on the top hooray for that remember the ones that had the grey on the controls and they were forever getting dirty and whatever so it's good to see that they've got the black ones on there now um, simple switch on off switch I guess that's for your lighting and then the then your key so yes very nice looking machine we'll just um, grab Alex when he's got a minute and just get him to do us a, a quick run over as well everything else basically looks the same on it the underbody um, looks the same it's still got the same traveling motor set up I think underneath which means it doesn't go any faster it's got the expandable tracks obviously that's why I think it's got the third pipe on the back um, it's actually got a recovery point underneath there I don't know if you can see that it's got like a circular thing where that blue lifting marker is which is probably good uh, what else do I notice um, this plate here for the um, track adjuster has now only got um, two bolts on it whereas the older ones had four I think it's the same system I wouldn't imagine that they would have changed it at all a bit of extra protection around these front hoses which I quite like so now these are wrapped in that steel band as well which just gives it a bit more protection and this is our Yumi 12, which is, that's the Yumi 12P. The Yumi 12P, it's just been released. We have not had them advertised just yet because everything is being pre-sold to our previous customers. We, we normally, we send an email to our customers, we advise them of the new model, and majority of them, they went on these ones, so they, they haven't been advertised. I didn't, that, get, I didn't get that email, Alex. You didn't get it, <laughs> which is, mate, check your spam. <laughs> It's and there. these ones, they give you the actual sight controls, which is for people that are using these machines for 12 hours a day and 10 hours a day, where they don't have to lean forward to use the controls in here. They could sit their back up and they could work on the side, which is that gives you the same configuration of the 1.8 and the two tonner. These ones that gives you the 16 horsepower D902 Kubota engine, which is with the D902 Kubota engine, that's the uh, well, that's the five star in the ammunition control, which is that gives you a bit more power. The only thing you get on the drive on the front of in here, you get your actual drive, you get the blade, you get the swing boom, and you get the actual auger, uh, you get the uh, the auger move. This is what you get in there. You get the oscillator switch in here with the cigarette lighter, or you could call it an auxiliary to recharge your phone. Let's keep the cigarette lighter away. So this isn't, uh, when I had a look at the photographs of this online, I thought this might just be duplicating these, but no, they're actually They actually separate. drive. Yeah. That's okay. how you drive it with these. Yeah. And this is your blade, this is your auger, and this is your quick hitch. Okay, okay. Okay, that's basically in there. But the good thing about this new model, which is we made it much more easier and friendly to use. In the way of, which is when you're doing maintenance and services, it just only opening the back door. That gives you an access to the engine. And if you need a bit more access, you just lift the actual seat up and that drops in there. That shows you the whole engine 
which is that makes it much more easier and a lot cheaper if you call on a mechanic to come and service it. He doesn't need to dismantle a lot of parts and charge you uh, the rates. So this is much more easier and you can do it yourself. With only a phone call to us, we'll take you through it and you can service it. You don't need to be a professional mechanic as long as you know what you're doing. These ones, which is you could undo the screws in here and then you could flop, flip, flip this one to the back if you go into a narrow or into a tight access place where that doesn't touch the actual roof. So you could go from garage to go to the back, uh, to the back garden, you can do it with this model. Yeah. It has got the expandable tracks and it has got the knuckle boom, which is a swing boom. Yeah. This is what you call landscapers and professional people friendly. This is the machine to go for. And they're priced at $19,990. There's only $2,000 more than the previous model price, but that gives you the 16, uh, 16 horsepower engine and it gives you the side controls. There's no extra money in there, it's just the extra money is being allocated for the bigger engine and for the side controls. Actually, this is pretty cool. It's a good comparison. So side by side, they actually have two of the 1.2 tonne machines. So this one is probably very similar to the model that I have and this is the new um, P version of it. So you can see the big difference, of course, is that this console here with these grey control levers are now gone and that those levers are up there next to the seat. Um, that's the mat I was talking about that um, most people rip out and throw away or gets in the way. So now there's a new stamped um, rubber or plastic type mat there. It seems to be sort of easier egress to get in and off the machine, whereas that one's a little bit tighter to do that. Uh, this is the older machine, so this one actually has the expandable tracks on it, and that's the new one. So there's not a great deal of difference to see. I can see that metal protector around the hydraulic line there um, is on the new machine. For the hydraulic lines that run on the arm on the older machines, you can see that it runs through here, and this is all still a, a rubber hose. It runs all the way basically down here, so it's rubber all the way back into the control. On the new ones here, they have junctions here for the hydraulic hose, and then it's in, it's in metal that goes all the way along here, so this is now all metal down here, and then it connects back into a a rubber hose right at the front. So that's probably not a bad idea. It actually gives that a bit more protection. There's nothing running down the side here like there is on this one here. Right, a comparison from the rear view. So this is the older machine, similar to what I have. You can't really get in there easy unless you take these plugs out and then unbolt all this panel. Whereas the new one here has a latch, opens up and there's the engine. So that's certainly a, a lot easier for maintenance, like that. Well, there we have it, a brief introduction to the new UHI UME 12P Mini Excavator. Here in the Sydney showroom, it looks currently like they've got about five or six available for sale, but I'm pretty sure they'll go pretty quick. If you're interested in looking at this or many of the other diggers that they have, contact your local sales team in the capital city. Thank you for watching. Please like and share with your friends and we'll see you next time.